Hey guys, it's your girl Shalane. I'm back today with another video. In today's video, we're going to discuss Social Security closing all its offices due to the global IT outage, you know, with CrowdStrike. We also are going to talk about SSI receiving some new payments as well, $500 for veterans and a whole lot more. So if you want to know what's going on in the lovely world of Social Security, my darling, you come to the right place. Stay tuned. Your girl's got you covered. Now, if this is your first time tuning into my channel, hi, hello, hey, friend. My name is Shalay, and here on this channel, we discuss shopping, saving, and everything in between. I would love to have you a part of my internet family. It's super easy. Click the big old red subscribe button down below when you're in, just like that. So while you're at it, go ahead and give me a like, especially if you love me bringing this content to you. Now, if you have not tried out Amazon Prime, you can try it out absolutely free, no cost, no credit card information at all by clicking the link above or down in the description box. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about it because the people are sounding off on Facebook right now about the offices or local offices being closed all across the country on Friday today because of the global technology outage. Now, if you go to Social Security's website, they have it going across the banner right now that they are experiencing like longer wait times on their 1-800 numbers. A lot of online users are saying that it's unavailable at this time. They appreciate your patience. They are working to restore things as quickly as possible. So as of right now, the global technology outage, it grounded flights, it knocked banks, hospital systems, um, 911 operations offline and even media outlets as well today. So this was like a massive disruption that affected so many companies and services all around the world and really highlighted the dependence on software from a handful of providers. So if you're trying to get in contact with Social Security, that's what happened today. But don't forget, speaking of outages and online, Social Security did announce some changes to their online service as well. So Earlier in the week, we discussed where the Social Security Administration announced that for customers who created an online account or my Social Security account before September 18th of 2021, you will be required to transition to a login.gov to continue to access your services online. So over 5 million of these account holders have already transitioned to login.gov. Account holders are encouraged to sign in now. Also, they have where like some of the local VA hospitals as well have um, different seminars that will help you with that transition. So all my vets, you can go to your VA office as well. I received the email today. Next, we want to talk about SSI and these underpayments, which means more money, honey. All right, so there has been some progress with the timely delivery of payments for people that are receiving SSI. So the commissioner, Martin O'Malley, he shared a message that you can view right now on the Social Security Administration website about the processing of SSI underpayments in a timely way. So most underpayments, this results from something positive, such as you had a claim, an appeal, an approved waiver request, or they discovered like during a routine SSI review that you were eligible for, for some additional money, okay? And this may have been from months in the past, but remember when we discussed the SSI settlement that occurred during the pandemic? So back in January, they had released a, a case and they were saying more than 2 million SSI recipients, including many with disabilities, they had where their benefits were reduced or discontinued during the pandemic but they had this settlement where the Social Security Administration, they agreed to automatically waive those overpayments that occurred between March and September of 2020. And the agency was going to refund individuals if they were already, re if they had started repaying those funds as well. So it was like nearly a quarter million of SSI recipients were expected to have that money credited back to their accounts automatically under the agreement. So when we talk about underpayments, pretty much what they're trying to do is get this money back to the people in need. But what they have is according to Social Security's policy, any underpayment under $5,000, it has to be reviewed by another employee before that money can be released. But in March of this year, Martin O'Malley, he changed that and he increased it from $5,000 to $15,000. So that means that anything under $15,000 will now be released to you without a peer review. So this policy change is really good for SSI, right? 
because this allows you to receive your money a lot quicker. You don't have to worry about it. So they started releasing those payments in June. And as of June of 2024, they have released $901 million, which has resulted in about 81,000 people cases have now received their money as well. So they was like, look, SSI, this is a vital lifeline. Let me know if you guys have received a payment or what is going on because I think this is great. But it was not just for the settlement. So I don't want people to be like, was it only for the settlements? No, if you had an underpaid, if they owed you some money, they are in the process now of getting that money back to you a lot quicker. But they have removed those peer reviews as well, unless it's $15,000 or more. So let me know down in the comments, have you received a payment? Have you been checking? This could be a possibility where you get some money, honey. <laughs> so this next story is for my veterans that have children, specifically in Indiana, where Operation Back to School is returning with its third year with financial aid for Hoosier veterans. So the Indiana Department of Veteran Affairs and the Indiana Military Relief Fund Operation Back to School program is has officially launched right now. So this program does provide like financial assistance to Indiana veteran families that are experiencing financial difficulty according to their website. So this program does offer $500 per qualified dependent child for back to school supplies and any other school related expenses as, as well. So you could have started applying for this on July 15th. The application closes on August 30th, but the eligible children, including kindergarten through 12th grade, up to 18 years old and are in college full-time students up to 23 years old who live in the veterans home as well. Now applicants, you must provide like the following documentation. You have to have like a completed application, DD-214, proof of income, bank statements. They have a lot of information that is required on the website, but this is the only one that I can find that was giving out $500. I think they do another program for like uh, car assistance or even like bill assistance where you can get $1,500 as well. All the information is on the website, but yeah, vets, let me know if you have children. Is your state offering something like this? And if you like videos like that, I can definitely try to find or put together a video specifically for my veterans where you can get some extra cash for your children. Just comment your state down below and let me know. All right, next we are headed to North Carolina where they have a new website as well for my seasoned seniors. So in New Hanover community, the Senior Resource Center has created a web page that can help older adults find resources as well. So this actually happened today, guys, with all the outages and everything, right? They announced the creation of the Older Adult Resource Guide on its website. Now, the Older Adult Resource Guide, it aims to simplify finding essential services for support system in the county's aging population. So this includes like healthcare providers, uh, social workers, caregivers, older adults that are seeking assist assistance. You can actually use this guide and discover like what's available in your area, what's available in your community as well. Now the project was started after feedback during the county's like work to make the aging plan and they included that they needed to have a easier way where all the resources was available on a public site and all the contact information. So as an organization, they said we are committed to enhancing access to resources specific to the needs of the older adults and caregivers, which is what makes the older adult resource guide such a useful tool. This is not a replacement for in-person help, seniors are still welcome to go to the Senior Resource Center. They're encouraging you that you can call the main line for assistance. You can still dial 211, but this site is something, an additional way to help them connect back with the resources that are convenient, easy to use format. Now, I do like websites like this is because you can literally log on. You can even go to 211.com and you can put in like your address or your zip code and you can specify what resources you needed. So if you need like the SNAP program or TNF, and it usually has a contact information or give you like different churches in your area that may have food pantries as well. So 
Let me know if you guys will be taking advantage of this. Have you ever used some of those websites? Depending on where you're at, you could still dial like 211, 311, or 411 from where you reside and they should be able to have some assistance as well. So this is all that I have this going on in the world of Social Security. Let me know, were you affected by the global IT outage? Did you try to go to your local Social Security office? Are you one of the SSI recipients that's now getting a little bit of money back in your pockets? As well as, are you a vet that's going to be applying for this $500 assistance? Comment all the things down below. You can always grab some Amazon Prime absolutely free. And then as always, please like, comment, subscribe. Catch up on some of my other videos, guys, because I have been posting a lot of different videos this week. Drop some different content or different states that you want me to look up. And I will talk to you later, Gator. Bye, guys.